Hi everyone, this is Ujur Gandhi from SpatialThoughts.com. Today we have another special analysis challenge for you. I've been posting these occasionally whenever I come across an interesting problem that you can apply your spatial analysis skills. And today I have one new problem for you. So let's get started. So here's a setup. Uh, the idea is we have multiple polygons, uh, they are overlapping, and then we have points. And we want to find the count of polygons within these polygons. Uh, counting points in polygons is a very simple and common spatial problem, but here there's a twist that we don't want to count any point multiple times. Uh, we want to count each point and assign it to an appropriate part. So here you will see that there are uh, these three points, they belong to polygon A. Uh, these two points, they belong to both A and B. So they should be assigned to both A and B. These points only belong to B. This particular point belongs to A, B, and C, right? So we need to figure out which point belongs to which part and generate a table that looks something like this. So here's the kind of output that we're looking for, uh, where we have the count of each uh, points in each of those parts. So only A, three points, A and B, two points, and so on, okay? Uh, we have sample data sets link attached in the description. You can download the data and use any system that you're familiar with, any coding platform, Python, R, QGIS, RGIS, uh, PostGIS, um, uh, anything that you're familiar with, do try this out. You can pause the video and try to work out the solution yourself. Uh, or you can continue watching where I'll show you one solution using QGIS. My approach to solving this was to first look at each point and figure out which polygon or polygons it intersects with. Once we have that, we can do a group statistic and count uh, the occurrence of each of those uh, combinations. So let's see how to do this. I'm going to open the processing toolbox. Uh, let me show you the attribute table for a second. Here we have the polygons layer where there is a name attribute with A, B, and C. So I'm gonna look at the points layer and we'll use the field calculator. I'm gonna add a new field here. I'm gonna call this field polygons or polygons list, whatever you want. This will be just text. And here the idea is I'm gonna look at each point and figure out what features from the polygon layer are intersecting with that polygon and generate a list of the names of those polygons. And if you've been following me, you know that uh, I'm a really big fan of the aggregate function in QGIS, uh, which allows you to look at multiple layers while writing expression. So I'm going to write an aggregate expression uh, when we say we want to look at the polygons layer. We can use multiple aggregates here within that. So the first one is layer. Second one is what type of aggregate you want to do. You can do a count, uh, sum, et cetera. We're going to just do the concatenate aggregator, which just gives a list of uh, uh, features separated by a separator. So we just want a text of all the polygon names. So I'll just say the aggregate that we want to use is concatenate. If you're using concatenate, you need to give one more parameter called concatenator, which is what separator you want to use. I'm going to use comma. And then we're going to say expression. Once we find all the features from the polygons, what do we want to extract from that? And we just want to extract the name. I'm using double quotes because double quotes in QGIS expression refers to a column. So we need to extract the value from the column name from each of the features. And here's the key part. We don't want to look at every polygon uh, from the polygon layer. We only want to look at the polygon layer. They are intersecting with the current point which we are evaluating. So we're going to apply our filter and say only look at polygons where this condition is true, where it, it, the dollar geometry, which is the geometry of the polygon, intersects with the geometry of parent. Now, at parent, in context of an aggregate expression, refers to the current point that where the expression is being evaluated. So if there are 18 points. This expression will run 18 times, one for each feature. So here, the geometry of parent is the geometry of the point that we're referring to. And when we Close this, you can see the preview says A. That means the feature one is only intersecting A polygon. As I look at the preview, you'll see that uh, different features intersect with different things. So here, feature number 18 has two polygon names that uh, it extracted out of this. Okay, so let's run this. And here's the output. So now I have each point and the polygons that it's intersecting with. 
Okay, so we have 18 points and we have in the list of polygons that it is intersecting with. Now we can simply count how many occurrences of A, how many occurrences of AB and so on. And that is called a group statistics. In QGIS, you can do group statistics using this tool, statistics by categories. We're gonna do, say count the occurrence of FID and but group it by this polygon speed. Uh, so we want to count of each unique combination of these polygons. Run this. This gives all different kinds of statistics. So we say this particular polygon A has count three uh, and other sum and all. We're just interested in the count. So AB is count two, ABC is count one, and so on. And uh, this is our result, but I like to clean up my results as well. So I'm going to clean up my results using this refactor fields tool where I'm just going to say delete everything else. And I have the polygons and the counts here. I just want to save that and we're going to save this to a file. And I'm going to just save it as results. And maybe I'll just change the type to be a geo package. I can save it to my source geo package as well, but I'm just going to save it as a separate geo package. Run this, and now I have my results, which is this table uh, containing the different parts of the polygon and the counts of points of the polygon. Hope you like this challenge and learn something new. Uh, if you solve this using a different method, please uh, let me know in the comments. I'm also going to add uh, different solutions in the description. I posted this on Twitter and uh, many people have solved this using different techniques. So I'm going to post, collect all the solutions and post them in the description. So see you till next time. Thank you.